where you live. It is a warm and humid Thursday night for us. Most areas are dry. We even have a view of the moon here in Lafayette as things are quiet for us in Tippecanoe County. But we do have uh, some isolated thunderstorms out there for our northern communities. Right now, mostly cloudy at the Purdue Airport. We've got 78, so still very warm out there. The dew points are still in the 70s, so uh, pretty unbearable out there. And it's going to stay that way. And the winds are calm. And it looks like we will be staying in the 70s for overnight tonight. But current temperatures. As you can see where we are, 78 for Lafayette. We've got 75 as you head to the west and to the north, 76 degrees, even 79 in Rochester. So very warm and humid. Uh, get used to it. The next several days we're going to have uh, these kind of weather conditions with some unsettled weather, meaning we could have a pop-up shower or thunderstorm uh, move through the area. So the current feels like temperature. So we're in the 80s for Lafayette. We're in the 80s for Rochester. So that's what it feels like when you combine the humidity with the heat and the muggy meter is going to show that all next uh, well Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even into Monday. It's going to stay pretty unbearable and then we see a drastic drop. We will have some cooler temperatures on the way. In fact, Tuesday we expect to have temperatures only in the upper 70s for the daytime high. So some cooler air will be working its way in, but it won't be until early next week. Now we are seeing a few isolated showers. Knox, you're seeing a couple of thunder or lightning strikes there, a thunderstorm with some heavy pockets of rain. The same as we head back into uh, DeMont there and stretching back. So it looks like this is going to track off to the southeast before it dissipates and you can see really that's all that's in the area at this hour but we've got more as you head to the east and even down to the south around Cincinnati so just a real unsettled weather pattern we have a stationary front just to our west and that's still producing all that moisture and energy across the area it's enough to uh, produce a shower or a thunderstorm so overnight lows you can see we're going to fall back into the upper 60s to around 70 degrees and that's where we will be for our Friday morning. So we're going to start out very warm and humid and it only gets worse. We get warmer tomorrow. Today we stayed in the low 80s. Tomorrow it looks like we're going to be in the mid 80s with that humidity still cranked up there. So it's going to be another unbearable day. Future cast is showing 7 a.m. Maybe a couple spotty showers around with some clouds, but we do expect to see the sunshine too. And that's just going to be the trend throughout the day. Lunchtime, uh, even through the evening hours, maybe a couple spotty showers through the area as the system finally tries to track out of the area, but then we get plenty of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday. That's going to heat us up and then we could still see a pop up thunderstorm due to all the heat and the humidity over the weekend as well. So here's a look at your seven day forecast then tomorrow 85 and we're going to see some partly to mostly cloudy skies with a chance for a spotty shower or thunderstorm. Mostly sunny for Saturday and Sunday and the heat ramps up 90 degrees on Sunday. Good chance for showers and thunderstorms on Monday and then 